Welcome back hustlers and today's video we've got an interesting one. We are going to cover the Salinas Air Show. It happened yesterday and Sunday the 4th and 5th of October and we're going to be covering who has won between Joby and Archer. So without drawing this on any further I think what we're going to have to do is give a bit of background on what the Salinas Air Show is. It's one of the most hyped events of 2025, the California International Air Show in Salinas. Picture this, 65,000 aviation fans packing the Salinas Municipal Airport on the 4th and 5th of October. And there was a problem. They were expecting uh, the Blue Angels doing death-defying loops, but due to a government shutdown, they've been grounded and they're not able to be carried out. On this incident is the fact now that there'll be more eyes on Archer and Joby. These two Evito Titans are going head to head with piloted flights. I wanna know who has come out better, Archer or Joby? We know Joby are in front with their design, but that is one thing that Archer always do so well is how they present themselves. Both companies sponsored the event, drawing massive crowds. Joby let fans step inside the aircraft for guided tours and interactive demos. So here we have a video from Joby, and this is where they're showing the fans inside of the S4. It's quite an interesting one, and I'm very jealous that I'm not over there in California at the moment. Um, people are really getting a sneak preview into what will be coming out probably 2026 tail end of 2026 um, for everyone to use but it is looking very impressive and the fact now that they are showing it to the public there were 65,000 aviation enthusiasts there today and yesterday and I think this is basically the start and Joby also released this it's the press release um, in regards to this Salinas Air show and it basically mentions here about on the October 4th and 5th, attendees will have the opportunity to step inside the Joby aircraft, experience the cabin firsthand and meet the team behind its design. Guided walkthroughs, interactive demos and hand-on activations will offer an up-close look at the technology, helping build familiarity and excitement around the new future of travel. Once again, a really good and innovative way to start showing the Joby S4 and seeing how the customers sort of respond to it, seeing what the public perception is. We do need to be getting people used to these because there is going to become a time within the next 12 to 18 months where they're going to start being implemented around the main cities and either uh, probably America, probably in New York, Manhattan, um, maybe in LA in preparation for the uh, Olympics coming up. There's got to be a stage where we integrate and get people used to seeing these because at first, I think a lot of people will be apprehensive on the whole EV toll experience. But days like this are brilliant. Um, I'm going to just bring up a quick look of what the cabin did look like inside. I did see one part where it does look a lot like a fighter jet. So here we have it. We've got a few posts that we can have a look through um, in terms of what they look like at the air show. So there it is, it's looking very smooth. Let me uh, click through a few of these. So that's it, that's the door. It looks quite small actually, it's smaller than I was imagining. Um, I'd love to have had a chance to be there today. It is very disappointing, it's so far away, it's across the pond. Um, but me and Liam are definitely gonna be coming over very soon. And we might be hitting up one of these air shows because I would love to get a look inside the craft as this is what I was discussing just earlier in the video in terms of it does look like a fighter pilot uh, in the front where the pilot would be. It's an, a, a very, very interesting design. I would have uh, loved that opportunity. Let me know in the comments, did anyone manage to make it there or any of you from California? Okay, so here we have Archer's post from the day saying flight test photo dump behind the scenes action from the past few days out of Highness in Salinas. So I really like this photo. Is that like you see all of the engineers there working on the propellers. Um, you then like scroll across, you can see the flight that they carried out. Um, this was actually on the third. So now I'm actually starting to think, was this in their own facilities? I don't know. Flight test photo dump. 
behind the scenes action from the past few days at our hangars in Salinas. Um, I'm not actually sure who that guy is. Um, if someone could let me know in the comments who this man is, um, is he just a well-known pilot? Is there uh, any significance of him being in this photo? It would be good to find out. And then, uh, yeah, it looks, this looks like a military aircraft. I've said this many a times before. It looks like something you'd see on maybe Halo. It's very cool, very sleek, but it's much bigger than the S4. That's one thing I can tell just from here, just from the photos that we looked at before. And then looking at this, the size difference is massive. So now what the whole video everyone's been waiting for, we're here. We can now see the first ever head-to-head -head eVTOL flight between Archer and Joby. And we can see who came off on top. I can't wait to watch it. So, so I want to give a big shout out to Bubbly Traffic. Um, he's done the full demonstration for the S4 at Salinas, a video from the Salinas Airshow demonstration. As you can see, this was one of the first times that we have seen the Joby and Archer head to head in a battle. And uh, it is something quite special. This seems like it's come so far since we started investing in this. Um, it was just an idea really probably 18 months ago now just a pure idea of like this could be the next mode of transport and now we're actually visualizing it and seeing it it's unbelievable and you know what it's worked out so well that there's been that government shutdown because it meant that these two have stolen the show they've been front and center and they've really saved the day and uh a lot of the 65,000 aviation enthusiasts would have been taking note and we might be converting them. There might be a few of you today. So if you were um, just there because you're a big enthusiast of aviation in general and you've been converted to eVTOL, we'd like to say welcome. And uh, let us know if you were there, what was your thoughts? Who did win? This is, this is my view from videos that we've seen and from the general consensus online. But was it different in person? Was it Archer? Was it Joby? Make sure to let us know in the comments if you were there. I'm sure one of the community was there. And so here we get to see it. And now this is in, when it's in its vertical lift. It's stationary. That is impressive. And this is how we'll be able to land, if needs be, um, on a small spot in the middle of a main city. It is so funny, though, when you do watch these propellers um, on the cameras, and obviously with their frames per sec second, it, it does make it look a little bit like that they're uh, they're moving at the fraction of the speed that they're actually going at. And then here we have a video um, of the midnight that was flying around. And uh, this is from a video that I found on Reddit. So it's an, an interesting one. This is the first ever head-to-head -head between the two eVTOL companies. Fast forward a little bit here. So this is the view. That's the angle you really want to be seeing. The interesting part now is that we probably all want to see how it will land. Um, and unfortunately, in this one, it was a conventional landing. It would have been something that I would have quite uh, liked to see in terms of it being a uh, vertical landing. But I can understand that uh, at an air show, you probably want to do it the safest way possible. Uh, especially with so many eyes on them and the fact that they are still in their design in regards to the propellers and etc etc but very smooth landing i liked it it's uh it's absolutely amazing now that we've got both crafts flying um the race heats up so after watching that video both piloted ex electric air taxis for urban air mobility we have joby who are a bit more established and archer are just the innovative setup they're catching up um so i think we have to go through and just have a bit of description what we're saying online in terms of the archers day one they were saying that um they took off with a vertical takeoff so even though in that video we didn't see it apparently there was a vertical takeoff and they had a 7k feet in climb um, and they were praised for spectacle and quite precision which is interesting because that goes to show that's one of the main driving factors of these EV tolls they'll need to be quiet when they're in the inner city they cannot be loud so it's brilliant that we're hearing 
um, from a few comments here on X that it was very quiet and it was precise. Now, we have to flip over to Joby. I think the hover tilt demo um, from Marina was brilliant. I liked the cabin tours. I think that was a nice touch. I think that Archer maybe missed a trick because I know that the Archer fan base is huge and I know there would be a lot of us Archer balls out there, especially Dylan, that would be dying to get inside that midnight aircraft and take a few photos and uh, get prepped for when they finally release it. So I think now we've got to have a bit of a overview and then who do we think? I think that Archer probably wins it because they had a higher and longer flight, which is quite impressive by itself. But Joby edges it a little bit on the execution. They proved their stability, they done their tilt rotors, and what a first side-by-side -side versus air show flight that we've had here. Both of them companies are ready. They're now into the stage where we can have these piloted flights. We can showcase them. We can show the world that the EV toll space is hotting up, that we're no longer talking about a theory, an idea, and a bit of a conspiracy. This is what people were calling it at first. We had a bag where he was mentioning that it wouldn't move 200 pounds over five miles. Um, this puts a lot of that to bed. That looks puts a lot of the naysayers to bed. And I think overall, the EV tour space won today. Um, I'll let you guys argue in the comments whether it was the Archer or Joby who had a better time. I think it'd be really good if there was anyone there and seen it with their own eyes. If you could let us get a bit of insight. Have I missed anything? I know every time I do these videos, there is so much information that I miss. And I love going through the comments and I find out so much from you guys. So I really want to thank you for that. That is pretty much all I have from today. So if you want to stay with me, jump on this video.